Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. In today's video, we will learn how to deploy Java application using Docker. So let's jump into the practical. So here we have an EC2 Ubuntu instance in which the Docker is already installed. So first of all, to deploy the Java application, we will create a basic .java file, which is a hello world .java. So first of all, we will gain the super user access. After that, we will update the packages. Now, once the packages are updated, we will simply create a hello world.java file using the Vim editor and we will place the following content in the file. Here we are creating a public class and using a main string through which we are printing a simple message hello world with a smiley face. So we will save this file. After that, the next step is to install the Java packages required for running the application inside the container. So we'll update the packages. Now, once the packages are successfully updated, we will run the command Java C space hello world dot Java. This command will compile and execute the above file which we created. Now, as the packages are successfully installed, we will run this command. So once we execute this command, it will automatically create a hello world dot class file. And we will mention this file in the manifest.txt. So manifest.txt is the file which we create in order to compile our Java application. So we will paste the following code inside this file. Here we have specified the manifest version created by which is me and main class, which is the hello world, which we have already defined here. So we will save this file. Now after saving this file, we will run the command Java jars space CFM space hello world dot jar along with manifest and hello world class file. So all these files are executed at the same time using the jar command. And after that, we will use the command Java space hyphen jar and it will compile the whole program that we just created. So here you can see that it has printed the message hello world. Now the next step is to create the Docker file. So we will create the Docker file using the Vim editor. Here we'll paste the following content in the Docker file. We are defining that we are pulling the images from the Java source and we are adding our, the, our hello world.jar file. Along with that, we are exposing it to port number 8080 and the command which we are using to execute is the given command. Now the next step is to build the Docker file. So here it has started the build process. So it has sent the build context to the Docker daemon, which is the step one. It has successfully built the, it downloaded the image Java. The second step is to add the Java files, which we just created the Java application, which is hello world.java. The third step, the fourth step is to expose it to the 8080 port number. And the fifth step is to run the command to execute our application inside the container. So as you can see, it is running inside this container and 
this is the built id so we have successfully tagged our hello world which is the latest code of the application we just built so we can easily deploy this application code onto several hosts by pushing it to the docker hub so in today's video we learned how to create a java application and deploy that java application using the docker file so that was all for today's video thank you